Hey guys, we're getting ready to make up some sugar syrup for the bees here and I wanted to give you a, a quick look at how we do that. We're making about a uh, two to one uh, ratio right now. So it'll be two parts sugar, one part water. So we're just using a five gallon bucket uh, for now because we only had about, oh, 20-ish pounds, 25 pounds of sugar left. Uh, so two to one ratio, two pounds of, or two parts sugar, one part water. And what we're mixing in uh, with our sugar and water is some essential oil uh, essential oils for a feeding stimulant right now we're using honey be healthy uh, it's it's really great product but it, it's it's pretty expensive um, so after we use up this bottle we're going to start making our own uh, to, to put in there which is uh, all this really is is uh, spearmint and lemongrass oil uh, with an emulsifier to keep the essential oil uh, from separating inside that liquid so uh, for this two to one mix inside of a five gallon bucket we're using about six ounces of honey be healthy so like I said, we're gonna uh, make our own to keep the cost down. But uh, Jake, go ahead and cut the water on. Cut. We're just gonna fill this bucket all the way up, let it sit for a little while, and uh, then we're, we're gonna start mixing it up. Oh, all right, we got the wrecking crew getting it all mixed up here. It's just about done. Yeah. It's all mixed in there. We're gonna go ahead and add these essential oils. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. Put it down. Oh, it's out of battery. Battery's dead. Okay, we'll get a new battery and be right back. Hey, for our sugar syrup, we wanted to show you something here with our five gallon buckets. Uh, we're going to put a bulkhead fitting on there with a spout to make it way easier to pour the sugar syrup out of the five gallon bucket to go right into our jars um, and our one gallon feeders here. And uh, you don't need a whole lot. About an inch and a quarter hole saw. A bulkhead fitting and a regular hose bed threaded half inch okay we're gonna go ahead and put this hole down low on this bucket so we can get as much um, of it out as once so we're gonna set this hole down right about here just like that we got our hole drilled uh, with the hole saw now we're gonna use this bulkhead fitting it's pretty simple, but uh, really smart and super handy. We use this on everything from uh, water totes for pig nipples, gravity feeders for rabbits, for chickens, turkeys, um, the whole nine yards. We're, we're, today we're gonna use it for this five gallon bucket so we can get syrup out of here really easy uh, into our mason jars and feeders. So it's a simple process. There's a big rubber washer, threads, a keeper, and a nut. This is gonna go through on the inside, through the hole, just like this. Plastic washer goes on top, and this bulkhead nut, they're threaded backwards. I'm just gonna put it on like this. Those two rubber washers are gonna squeeze together on that plastic. I'm just gonna go hand tight. And now we have a watertight seal all the way through. So from here and to here. Now what's neat is you can take a regular hose bib, that's half inch threads, half inch pipe threads, and it'll thread right, in, right, right into here. And now we have a bucket that we can turn off and on uh, to fill our syrup. All right, so we have our sugar syrup with our essential oil uh, inside the five gallon bucket. And what we like on these is these, uh, these gamma lids. Uh, it snaps to the top of the bucket and has threads on the inside. And the lid makes it uh, watertight and airtight. So when we're not using this, we can seal this rascal up and we don't have to worry about ants or anything getting inside of it. Um, sometimes when you go to turn this on, you want to take your threads uh, back just a little bit so you get enough airflow. Um, but when you attach a little hose or something like that, stick your jug on, and there you go. You can fill it up. Just makes it super handy uh, to get this in the right spot. Otherwise, you're using, you know, you're usually going to use a, uh, a funnel and a five-gallon bucket, or you're going to mix them in smaller batches. It just becomes um, a little bit cumbersome. So this way, you know, you can make all your your syrup up for. A week or two, or depending on how, how big your bee yard is, I'd make sure you, if you do mix them up in a, in a bulk like this, that you use them up within, you know, probably three to four weeks. Um, being that there is sugar and water, they can they can go to ferment just a little bit. So, um, so that's how we do it. That's how we turn a five gallon bucket uh, into a rig to uh, get our syrup um, into our mason jars or one gallon holding containers. And uh, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.